What's going on, everybody? This is AJ Capasso here with Talking with the Source and Coventry Circle Paranormal. I'm here with my two best friends. Jonathan Keyworth, uh, JK47 Paranormal. And Robin from Hawthorne Paranormal. So, hey, I just guys, want to yeah. give a shout out to my uh, Army Brothers wearing my shirt here. Where is it? There it is. Army Brothers. <laughs> Hey, you know what? With all that's going on today, it's a great thing to do. But we also want to give a shout out to Parapost Network. And also, we want to give a shout out to FCD Ghost Boxes for sponsoring this. And if you guys haven't heard of Parapost Network, please head over to Parapost Network. Check it out. It's a community of amazing podcasts, some amazing people. And uh, we are just super happy with the growth that it's having. But tell you what, guys. And head over to FCD Ghost Boxes and see what Nigel has on his site. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, today we have an awesome show. I mean, I am super pumped. I mean, I know you guys are. We have the one and only psychic medium, Patty Negri, coming on. So let's uh, let's bring her in. You know, I'm super excited right, to have her. Wait, man. <laughs> hey, hey Patty. Patty. Hi, Patty. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank you. Oh, not a problem. <laughs> My pleasure. Uh, of, of course, I, you know, the, the lawnmower guy just showed up. So there you go. My dog's barking <laughs> upstairs. Another day at my house. Yeah. Hey, oh, okay. <laughs> Screaming little, little ones upstairs. My nieces and a German shepherd that likes to go along with them. So I feel your pain. <laughs> All right. Yay. Be in it together. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> um, Guys, I'll, I'll let you guys start first. So go ahead, John. Uh, Patty, uh, uh, You've been on a lot of shows. You've been doing a lot of stuff. Uh, why don't you tell us exactly how you started and and what got you to where you're at? Okay. Um, it was it, well. It started a long time ago. I've been seeing spirits. I've been talking to spirits since I was since I could talk. I just knew that this so, and I think kids really can. I just knew the so-called imaginary friends little kids have weren't all imaginary. Almost cliche, like the guy in the closet and under the bed were. Well, they gave me real information and were real. And it, it just never got taught out of me. And I was always obsessed with the dead. Not in a dark or morbid way. Just wanted to talk to them. So I literally did my first seance at seven or eight. Um, I was always a seeker. I didn't have any religions or typical religions getting in the way. My parents thought it was bad or anything like that. So um, I've always been a seeker to try to figure it out. Studying religion, philosophy, and all that uh, my whole life kind of settled on my own little wi wi uh, witchy pagan person, but I, I study and work with it all because it's all energy anyway. Um, but I always kept my life really, really separate. I was in a coven. I was a medium. I talked to dead people, but I also ran a production company. I'm also in the middle of Hollywood and I was really corporate. And I was like, for years and years, I was like, these these people just cannot know. I talk to dead people and dance around, you know, bonfires, drumming in a cloak. So yeah. I kept it really <laughs> separate <laughs> until 2008, I think, when, and I was a Hollywood girl. I was an actor. I was a producer. I was a sketch improv comedy. This was my world, but not this, the, the, the paranormal part. Um, but in 2008, that big economic crash came and corporate entertainment became a dirty word. So my shows just went crash. And at the same oh, time, no. reality television was going to be building, 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 building. We didn't yet know quite what it'd be 2008. And uh, somebody called me and they go, Patty, we need you to do one of your seances. We know what your seances are, how you lift the veil on, on a TV show. I'm like, no, I can't. I can't. I could do an acting role. I, I can't. That's my private life. And she's like, please, please, please. We really need you. No, I can't. And, and I'm looking at my empty calendar going, oh, no, I can't. And I go, well, I'm like, well, what's the name of the show? And they go, it's, it's called Mobile Home Disaster. And it's on country music television. And I'm like, 
Well, nobody will watch that. <laughs> sure, I'll do it. And who would watch a show? Again, who would know everybody would watch a show? A show called Mobile Home Disaster on Country Music TV. So I did it and it was really fun. I loved getting to do what I do, my passion. I got to help this living little girl. I got to help this ghost spirit, this little girl who was you know, drawing vortexes on the roof of her motor home. And they thought she was crazy. I'm like, no, there are vortexes on the roof. And it was like so much fun. And they got to follow me around with three cameras. I didn't have to memorize lines. And I got to, my message is just about, I don't care what you believe, just know how powerful we are as humans. And I got to do that. But okay, it's over. Never again, not going to do it. That was fun. Um, and of course, then it aired. Very next day, my one of my biggest corporate clients, I think it was a bank I did shows for nationwide, called up and said, Patty, I saw you on TV last night. And I'm like, oh, as my voice raises, she's like, yeah, I'm, oh, and she's like, I didn't know you were into the paranormal. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, I love the paranormal. I and we had the best, most real conversation we ever had. And I'm like, to heck with it. I, you know, this is who I am. This is what I am. I am. I'm out of the closet. I'm out of the broom closet. I'm out of the psychic medium closet. I'm out of the paranormal closet. And it's just been insane ever since. I don't even have time for my protection company. I still have it because being sit, I'm literally smack in the middle of Hollywood is where I live. Knowing what I do, all of a sudden I became the person to call um, if they needed a psychic, if they needed a medium, if they needed a house clearing, if they needed a witch, if they needed a shaman, if they needed, because Number one, I know what I'm doing on camera. You know, have the, the silly things that with we go into reality, people don't know from hitting marks to how to match and doing, you know, nothing to do with acting. But so I just became the person to call. And that's, it, it's fun. I go, this is so much more fun than, you know, HR department motivational seminars right. for the sales yeah. department. Yeah. yeah. You know, I find though that a lot of people, I find anyway, that they talk to you normally. And then when you mention that you're into the paranormal, it's like the only thing that people that say, oh, so am I. And all of a sudden it completely changes. It's like people are so in there, but keep it aside. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's like our secret club. <laughs> it really is. You know, it's funny is back when you said in 2008, you know, like a lot, you know, that it, the paranormal I felt was still not really like in the forefront, like you were saying. So yeah. when you talk about it, people would be like, oh, you're crazy, you know, or, you yeah. know, like, especially like yeah. as a media, like, oh, I see ghosts. They're like, oh, yeah, sure you do. You know yeah. what I mean? I totally get what you mean. I totally get what you mean. Um, but I tell you yeah, what, yeah. like, go ahead. Oh, no, I was thinking like right around that time, the only two shows that I could think of that were on were uh, Ghost Adventurers and uh, Ghost Hunters, you know, because yeah. yeah. I think uh, Nick was still on Ghost adventures and oh yeah he yep. yeah he was on for a long time i came i came on to ghost adventures in 20 2015 and yep. he had just left not very much before yeah yeah yeah, yeah over here we were more we were in the a show i don't know if you've heard about a party called most haunted yes most yes. haunted yeah, yeah well, we weren't really we weren't really seeing ghost adventures at the time nobody really knew much about it because obviously it was an american thing and over here most haunted sort of had people's attention like that and it was only really i only ever found ghost adventures by li literally watching every episode of most haunted and then when i got to the end of it thinking right i need something else to watch so i went on and typed in paranormal programs and then it popped up and i thought oh i'll try that yeah i tell you what and it's cool. one of the biggest ones around now you know like ghost ghost hunters was is absolutely huge but ghost adventures is to a whole nother level and those guys in my opinion i mean they're awesome i never never truly got to uh meet them personally and have a conversation but uh you know just the vibe they give and um when that with them working with you i mean i you know getting getting to speak with you before we came on the show i get to see you as you on that show now just as here what people don't really you know think because they think oh it's just staged or it's this or it's that and it's like no you know there's a lot yeah. more to it and, uh, you know, I wish yeah. people knew. I wish people really got to know, you know. So. I know. It's 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 silly because, I mean, all the stuff they make fun of Zach about, that, that they're big and they, not in the uh, – it's just – it's because they put in 120% enthusiasm, belief, and, 
they give their all. So that's why some people, may, but that's why they're still on air like 25 seasons later or whatever it is, yeah, because yeah. the passion is there. It's, oh, and it's, I uh, believe me, they have <laughs> never fake the tiniest, tiniest uh, thing. I never know well, where I'm going. I, my you know, I will be blindfolded. <laughs> You've heard of his what? I love Aaron. I think he's the fun. Oh, Aaron is great. Aaron, they're all they're all great, and they're all the best of friends. And again, they're all like it's like picture like kids in the playground playing when you just you are in your world you are creating. That's how they all are, and they're the best of friends. And I just it's always an adventure because I never know what I'm going into. E even with like the Cecil Hotel, I didn't know I was going to the Cecil Hotel. Here's this little address two hours before. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm about. I actually wanted to ask you about the uh, Cecil one, not not just the Cecil, but all you know episodes you've been on mm -hmm. in general. Um, so if you don't mind me asking, like, what did they just tell you? Hey, Patty, we need we need you, and then they won't give you any information until literally have someone pick you up, or yeah, right? Yep. That's all yep. that is completely. Um, it's yeah. If like I've sent them a couple locations going because I I work and I go oh you guys are gonna like this and if I've sent them a place like I did with the Reseda House and I did with um, one I didn't even go on with then I'll just oh the Pasadena my friend Richard Lael's I'll introduce it and say this is what I've experienced there and I go home they don't want anything like repeated or anything yep. so. Um, it's just, here's an address, show up, or here's a plane, get on a plane. And with the Cecil, um, literally, uh, Zach called me like two weeks before. He said, um, Patty, we are going to be in LA and we need you. Okay, cool. And then I didn't hear anything. And then two weeks later, I heard, uh, he called me up. He goes, okay, we are here. We're downtown LA. And can you get here in two hours? I'm like, two hours. And I was at my brother's like, I'm a girl. It's like, did I wash my hair? Do I have time to put on a lady <laughs> house? Ah, two hours. I don't care where we're going. Did I can I dress? Yeah. Um and I'm that so, guy all the time. <laughs> I know it's like so I I I just like yeah, yeah. So I got home and I and I and I got there downtown and it's like skid row is funky and I like I, and a rat didn't want to let me in. I saw the sign, I go, Oh, that's a Cecil. I all I knew because I didn't I'm never really said I go that's the water tower goal oh, that's the Elisa lamb that's all I knew and I'm walking through skid row and I'm trying to a rat wouldn't let me in I and usually the, there's they'll scurry away and they'll yeah. startle you and scurry this one I'd go right and the rat would go right and I'd go left and the rat would and we're dancing in the middle of downtown LA I'm like come on rat I gotta go in it's my time so I get in and that building just takes you over I just felt like 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 a wall is wow. coming in on me and you get depressed and you get desperate and yeah. I'm like and I I just allow trance state to go on and then there's six Zach and the guys. They've already got their cameras strapped on. They've got their equipment. They're like, hi, Patty. And I, hi. And they're like, okay, yeah. Patty, there's 14 floors and there's 700 rooms. They are all unlocked. And you tell us where to go. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. And, and I... And I, you know, you're scared to death. I'm always like, what if I get crickets? What if I'm not, you know, psychic today? Well, it's like, well, I got nothing. But so they go yeah. everywhere that is so charged that you never get nothing. Oh, I remember yeah. getting in the elevator, just yeah, pushing a button. And then I let him right to a room that, you know, somebody jumped out the window and he thought I was going to jump out the window oh, and I wow. let him right to another. So, oh. uh, but that place is insane. That, yeah. ugh, that oh, is I bet. Yeah. insane. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy they, they they let them in there, you know, because at first I didn't know if they were going to at first. Cause I remember Zach saying some things about it. Like they were having, a, you know, obviously the hotel and stuff. They didn't want to, you know, a lot of the places they're like get nervous that like, oh, when one major show comes and all of a sudden all these little amateur, you know, people try to get in. And, you know, I, I can understand completely, but I know what you're talking about when you're talking about um that energy feeling. And what I wanted to ask you was when you were like before you got into like obviously doing the paranormal shows and stuff. Did you like, would you be at like places for corporate or at like, you know, uh, you know, Hollywood and stuff? And like all of a sudden a spirit would be right there and you just like wouldn't say nothing or how did that work? I get, yeah, but I do have an on off switch, which has made me sane oh. and be able to live in this world really well and not be yep. like the woo woo girl on the corner and live in that <laughs> world, which makes it stronger is I have an on off switch. But oh. yes, because in the corporate world, me being in Los Angeles, I can't tell you how many, nothing to do with paranormal shows I've done on the Queen Mary and 
that's crazy haunted. It's like in the, the dressing green room for the actors, like, excuse me, spirits, excuse me, spirits. No, we have a murder mystery to do. It's like, yeah. 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 So, yeah, it's funny because, but and a lot of, I mean, big in life, big in death, you know, little quiet people are little quiet ghosts and big and Hollywood, you're big ghosts. So just like you guys, you know, paranormal will go to the, the sane asylum and the prison and the serial killer's house, which we, um, in Hollywood, there's a bunch of really fun ghosts hanging out because they went to the Academy Awards at the Roosevelt. And so we have, I like fun, big ghosts too. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Absolutely. I, I, Absolutely. Yeah. I wanted to ask um guys, you, you I, I don't want to take it over. Do you guys have a question before I because I have so many questions to ask Patty, but go ahead, guys. <laughs> now, I wanted guys to ask you, Patty, if it's okay. Uh a, a place that's that's been on my bucket list for a long time, and I will get there someday, is the Winchester Mystery House. Have you been there? I have I'm going there in a few weeks to do a, a, or next month, I don't know. I have been there, but not for an investigation. That's one of those. I did a show there. I did a production show. And it's a crazy, besides that it's haunted, you get lost. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, like 13, it's like, so that throws you off anyway. So I'm excited about going there in the, in the month or so. I'm going with um, Jim from Spirit Realm. I was supposed to go there. I work with TFIL, these YouTuber guys who are like, you know, their YouTube version of paranormal. Um, we were supposed to go there last week. We went somewhere else, but they got real, the Winchester mystery house got real picky with them and said, said things like you can't do a seance. You can't use the word demon. You can't bring a medium. You could only use ghost equipment and all this kind of weird stuff. So I, I stayed home and then I went to the next location the next day, but they did let the guy that we're going with now, they know, I go, did you tell them what we're doing? They're not going to shut us down because we lifted the veil, you know, so, but it'll be okay. So, yeah, yeah but I have never done for me. It really is. It's completely fascinating to, you know, watching all these programs on it and reading about it and stuff like that and to find out how it's built and how, how she wanted it built and how confusing. And I've, I've seen obviously loads of programs uh, and yeah. it's like, you, you think to yourself, it's, you know, it's just amazing how the, the architecture in it. Yeah, stairways to nowhere, and nothing, and and you're just picture yourself. You're a little rat in a maze, and you, you could not ever find the front door ever again. <laughs> or you'll open a door, and it'll be like three stories down. Yeah, no, it's wild. And I, and you know what? Do you ever? Did you ever? I mean, I know you said you you've been there, but you haven't got a chance, obviously, with the investigation. But did you ever get a sense of the energy of of her of the reason why when being there of like maybe. Why you know like that that feeling that she was getting of why to build it that way like for the spirit Sarah Winchester well a psychic told her to um, I actually I, I, you know because that was in those days That's the right. spiritualist yeah. days when the, you know, seance is really big it turned into a whole religion and yeah. some psychic or medium told her if she would be cursed by the Winchester rifle if if she didn't if she ever stopped not building on the house twenty four yeah. hours a day which would be insane. Yeah. So she did. She had the seance room. And so I, I don't know. I, I have a friend who coincidentally lives like literally butts up to the property. And, and she sees Sarah Winchester all the time, wow. <laughs> like wanders over to her property because she's got a big yard, too. And so it's oh, it'll wow. be interesting. Yeah. So Can I just so quickly great. say a shout out to everybody on there coming from AAP's channel. Because it's the yep. channel that I watch and the support everybody, everybody's coming over and they're actually saying that they're coming from it. So thanks for coming, everyone. Yeah, yes, we just thank, want to thank you. you. Thank you. And oh, I, I, I see a lot of comments about, about your doll to the to the right there. I don't know which one they're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, this the one way in the, the one way in the back. She's the haunted. She's Belle. She's 105 years old. She's been seen doing weird things on TV forever and ever and ever. Um, I, the, I had never done a Facebook Live and just opening her up, I got 50,000 views. I don't get 50,000 views. I, I get 50 views, 100 views. Um, but that was her. And you will see her move and do all sorts of things. This one that people are saying creepy. I, she was given to me, a girl didn't know if she was haunted or not. Actually, she's not, but she thought Belle needed a doll. But a few weeks ago, this was hysterical. I, 
I teach, I have a school, University of Magicus. And I was teaching a psychic protection class, like for paranormal investigators or something like that. And I'm sitting here, both of my hands are up in the air. I talk with my hands and all of a sudden, this doll goes, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> and I'm I just, that. I didn't even <laughs> notice that I'm just yapping away. Um, I've tried to debunk it a billion times. I, I can't, but, a, and I'm like, it has no ghost. There is, but a friend blew up the video actually and saw yeah, a, yeah. A, a mist come out of here and into her and moved her. So it could have been Belle for that, or it could have been something. I have a pretty yeah. active house. I try um, to keep it positive active, but it's active. Um, yeah. <laughs> now, so. I asked, so, I have well, like, I'm sure you're question. the one that can handle it. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, handle it could be you. The, the one question I want to ask: but Do you notice being um, that basically like that lighthouse in that realm? You know, like do spirits just come and show up at the house. How does it work for you? Well, my house um, is really, really warded. Um, I have, there's a ghost lives here, a French ghost, and I'm so sorry about the dog. Oh. I, I'll try to just stay close to the microphone. She, this house, was, my house was built in 1920. It's a little Hollywood Hills bungalow, movie cottage, um, little, I've just made it regular size. And, but this French artist lived here from the 60s to the 90 till 98. She passed. We I got it in 2001 and renovated it. But it came with a ghost. And all her artwork was in the dirt basement. And so it's all over the house. Oh, so it's God. almost like a shrine to this lady who lived here for like 40 years, who was French and an artist. So she's crazy active, really protective. She'll take pictures out of frames. My husband's a drummer and we have like a drum display shelf. It's like 12 feet up she plays the drums all the time that's so much more fun than table tipping it's like yeah, yeah. they're high you get you get rim shots and stuff but it's Absolutely. protected i um i keep it energetically clean and clear i've had a couple bad things once i had something roll down from across the street and once i was doing i i dropped my own protections i was with my old producer and we were going to do a thing on the black dahlia house and dr george hodell who did do it and i've just, i've let him channel on ghost adventures and one other show hey did you see that orb guys did you see that light yeah. and uh, oh, light and see orb? There. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, awesome. welcome. wait hold on let me Willow. go ahead hey i don't talking to your dog i don't know if anyone hears that i'm sorry so anyway your dog <laughs> Anyway, so what happened, we were using a Ouija board, which I've safely used since I was seven or eight, unless you screw it up. Wait, hold on. Look, come here. Come here. <laughs> hey, you know what's so funny? <laughs> My German Shepherd could hear her, this dog on the, on here, so he's going nuts up there. I loved it. I love it. Yeah, both all three of my dogs ran up the stairs. <laughs> yeah, I just Bagel. locked her in another room. She's gonna cry any minute, but it's because the gardener is here. It's all bad. Okay. Bagel. So anyway, uh, you seen that orb as well. Huh? Do I what? My, my partner, Julie, she's seen that orb as well. She put it on yeah. the comments. Really? Ah, yeah. It's like an active house. It's a really active house. It's, it's an old, it's a hundred, over a hundred years old. It's, um, I do magic here all the time. I lift the veil here all the time. I see clients here all the time. I do rituals and spell work here. Again, usually they're all really good, except for when they're not. <laughs> but the, the, the Black Dahlia one, I was using the Wurgy board and I didn't do it. All of a sudden I got pushed up to the back of my chair so hard. I heard the crack. And I'm like, uh, and I'm sliding down to the floor. And she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not. I'm really, you know, and I always say I'm okay. I, it's like, yeah, yeah it's a flesh room not in my head. Um, and I'm like, no, it's, it had hit me so hard. There was no one behind me living. And it had, I thought it broke my ribs, but it literally ripped all of the, um, it ripped all the cartilage off my floating ribs and ribs. So it was like a month of pain of me going, oops, forgot to set up my wards and protectors um, <laughs> on that one. And one other time, which I've talked about this a lot before, I was also in my neighborhood because it's like the oldest movie neighborhood in Hollywood, right under the Hollywood sign. Uh, it was the first movie enclave where there'd be a little writer's house, like the staff people and then a movie star mansion, the little writer's house and the movie star mansion. Um, I was at another house built by Charlie Chaplin and then the Rolling Stones lived there. And then the person who invented the real life sex doll. And then Marilyn Manson, who was my neighbor for seven years. And he recorded there in the basement. Dark house, creative <laughs> people. And I was doing a seance there for a documentary. And, and that one, I let one kid get disrespectful and out of 
out of hand without controlling him enough and not him but the cameraman burst into flames literally not standing in front of a fire these are fake candle not standing in front of a fireplace just like angel wings of fire up his back everybody's screaming oh, uh, you know wow. i've become medic patty of which i am his shirt's burning off him like this um he was a super skeptic not by the end because he spontaneous combusted <laughs> so that was pretty cool but we actually he was so intrigued he's like no let's do it i'm okay his shirt yeah i have a sweater take the burnt shirt off I'm watching at the blistering the, but the kid who caused it got really well behaved. There was going to be no more smart Alec from this guy. Um, and I talked to the spirit. It wasn't even demonic. Demons get way too much credit. I'm like, come on, we're not even going to shut yeah. you down. <laughs> right. So, so he's he's he, he's we did we finished it. It's still a lot of crazy French doors flying open, speakers coming on. Like they sound like a spirit box. White noise. <sighs> they, yeah. they weren't even plugged in. Glass flying out of the cupboard. Um, but we, we got to try to push the cameraman off the cliff. I guess I don't know. He must not have liked cameraman. If four cameras, two cameras caught it. Oh um, yeah. Gosh. Bursting into flames. But the cool, the, the happy ending to this insane, which it's like nobody, you know, burst into flames on my watch. This is not good for my yeah. reputation, but I, he showed me his back three weeks later and it, it literally looked like he had got a tattoo of a dragon on his back open mouth, sharp teeth, winged head into the shape of a serpent. Wow. And that is the exact wow, energy I called in to close the seance. I work dragon energy. It's crossroads magic. I work dry. I have dry. I'm like, and it looked <laughs> almost like a tattoo of the scar. I'm like, oh my God, you have a tramp stamp on your back. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, the dragon. He was he he was intrigued too. He 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 was so blown away and became a believer. He actually wrote a. They haven't done it yet. I don't think they will. A movie script about this TV psychic medium who does all the shows and and then a portal gets opened and then it becomes a horror film. He um actually wrote it with Stephen Norrington, the guy oh, okay. who wrote oh, wow. the Blade series and League of yeah, Extraordinary yeah. Gentlemen, um Way Left of Center. Um, I hope they do it. I want to see somebody movie star playing me. Yeah, but. that'd be cool. <laughs> that, know, be but, awesome. but but I I did sit down with them literally for five hours. I sat down with five hours going, Lauren, you cannot say that in the script with the seance. He goes, but you said that. I go, I know I said that, but that does something <laughs> to the energy. You don't want to be one of those cursed horror films, do you? Because that happens. <laughs> That's why those spirits don't know the difference of an actor's reading something off a page the energy that's in those sounds and words you, you don't want to be in one of those movies where all the actors die at 27 in a car crash it's like no let's change the words they won't do anything they'll be just as scary so i don't know if they ever do it no one will be injured by it <laughs> no yeah, no hey no that, that that's that's a crazy crazy awesome story though i mean just yeah. that evidence because you know the combustion out of nowhere i mean even just the dragon on the back and then also the symbolism of you working with you know that that dragon. energy is just such amazing thing can you explain a little bit more about um to our viewers and to us a little bit more about you know the witch side of what you do and the the dragon oh, so that that. <laughs> yeah yes i can um yeah, I it's I think it's in the blood. Um, I would literally find myself when I was a little kid in my little suburban Los Angeles home, like picking rosemary and mint out of my the, my backyard, my mom's garden, and stuffing it in my mom's wallet, and knowing that that would bring her more money. And you know, years later, you study the apothecary and the power of herbs. It's like, oh, I just knew that in the blood. And I always, again, we were. My mom would have been a Protestant, and my dad would have been a, a Sephardic Jew from Turkey. But my grandfather was this very famous psychoanalyst, philosopher, Hollywood set, atheist, practically evangelical. So anything religious or spirituality was a dirty word. We didn't have the words like God or spirit because we just didn't. But I drive by a church or a temple, or a mosque, or a park, and see this energy and the people, and I wanted to see what that was. So I, I and I saw the magic, and I saw the through line that they're all really the same. Um, and so I think I was 13, I was old enough, I asked my mom, it was so scary, I would have felt safer going, can I go to a rave or an orgy? I go, if I could go to church with a friend, because I wanted to see a cute rock band, you know, those Christian rock bands. Are, and, and I'm like, can I go to church? And she's like, you could do anything you want. I'm like, I can do anything. And I became a seeker. So I started going to 
Christian church, evangelical, t tr traditional, Catholic, Jewish, see the Jewish roots, temples, Zen Buddhism, Buddhism. And, um, and then I kind of, eh, this is, eh, this is good. Um, and I kind of, that's when I discovered Wicca, you know, the 80s, all that big. So, I, oh, I like this. Or New Age, first New Age, Shirley MacLaine out on a limb. And I go, that's fun. It's a little chiffonny and squeaky queen for me. I like get it down and dirty in the dirt. Um, so I discovered Wicca. And since then, it's become just full circle. I can't even say I'm Wiccan. I'm, I'm, I'm eclectic. I work chaos magic. I work all positive. That's why I'm the good witch. I don't like black yeah. and white because what's black and white? Nothing. But I, I only do positive magic because... You can get everything you want from positive magic. Believe me, I would not be, I'm not, I'm supposed to be long dead, illness, weird stuff. And I went, mm, no. And to prove that I wasn't dead or in a wheelchair by 50, I did positive magic. I'm like, I'm going to show them. Um, so I beat 100,000 people to get on the TV show Wipeout. I did the big balls. I did the world's largest obstacle course. And I, oh, this is fun. I, I, and I'm not that <laughs> athletic. And then I'm like, oh, this is fun. What can I do? I can't cook. So, I'm going to, I'm going to cook for Gordon Ramsay. Then I beat another hound a thousand people using positive magic. And I was on master chef and I'm like, Oh my God, this is so fun. I can't, I still can't cook. And he, Gordon Ramsay's afraid of ghosts. And then I'm like, okay, what am I really not right for? And I'm like, I have no talent for America's got talent. No, I am in awe of those singers and dancers and because I've done all that, but never that good. And I, so next thing I know, I'm rolling around on the floor with Howie Mandel on America's yeah. Got Talent. Yeah. I mean, I crashed and burned. It was, it, 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 but I love that actually. Yeah. So, and, and it wasn't negative magic. Like, oh, I hope that person trips or burns their chicken. It was like, you do good and you do good. You put out, you do good and you get all comes back to you. That's it. Yeah. So I, I work elementally. I work with deities and energy, but I'm really, we are corporal earth beings. So I work with air and fire and water and earth, like Native Americans, like the pagans that I am. It doesn't scare people so much because they understand that without having to get into, you know, deities and gods or even religion at all. So um, that's just how I just was, I was born this way. Hey, Excellent. I love it. So, so Patty, yeah. it do you do you meditate? Is it do you like before an investigation? Do you do you meditate to turn on that switch or like how does that work? I'm not a good meditator. Um, I know how to go into trance state again when you've been doing it for so long. Um, I'm 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 always in a hurry. I'm always fast about stuff. So even in my book, I have a book called Old World Magic for the Modern World. It's like, yeah, it's great to meditate for an hour. I have to pull everything together in 30 seconds. So I came up with these different techniques using your basic psychology of mind, body, spirit, which in the craft would be creation, working, dispatch. You know, basic psychology, there's 20,000 books written. You have to believe it or you'll never get it. We know we'll never surpass our own belief system. You to believe you can't do something, you can't. You believe you can conquer the world, you can't. We, we get that. mind, body, you got to take get off the couch, take action. The spirit side of things, that's the less tangible people don't get, but that's the battery that makes it happen. So whether you could do it through religion, go to church, whatever, pray, faith, um, do real new age affirmations and vision boards, great. Do what I would do, spell working, candles, herbs, oils, mugwort, and dragons blood but what if you you could look at everything you guys have ever accomplished in your life that you've made happen your podcast your you've believed it you've taken action and you had some sort of faith or magic or belief behind it the stuff you haven't quite made happen yet what two are you're either not really believing you get it you're worthy you're able you're not really taking action or you don't have that power energy magic behind it you tweak them and you get it you know unless you're breaking the laws of physics we haven't figured that out like to get taller or fly without a plane but that's how i take into my uh, my work and my spell working so as as well so whether it's you know beat hundred thousand people to cook for gordon ramsay or a health healing health spell for a little kid my whole thing is about empowerment so when i go on again i just don't have time for long things i i'm not going to lay there and own forever I'd rather take a walk in a park and sit with a tree for a few minutes. Um, and once developing an on off switch when I was a kid, literally first it was the on like old fashioned on off switch. And then you can get fancy with a dimmer switch. I could just do, I work with breath and I work with physical movement and I could, okay, I'm cleansed out. I'm cleared out. I'm protected out, whatever you need to do. Definitely. Um, and do you think by that, wow. that energy, but 
you think by the energy output of what you just said, because like I know a lot of people like that who, who don't need to take a lot of time, like do a half an hour or an hour of meditation, but can literally take that few seconds and just get into that state and, you know, all of a sudden, you know, tap into that energy. Um, is that what, you're, yeah. what you buy, like just tapping right into that energy where you just, you know, just go right into it is what you're talking about, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Because I do, I do. I mean, my tools are, I do, I, um, I always have oils with me, different essential oils. I, whether you're whiffing it, I, to me, just for anybody to remember, all you paranormal people, remember the biggest portal on your body, your third eye is here, but this is your whole crown of illumination. The biggest portal on your body is right there where your head and neck go together right there, the base of your spine. I forget what it's called, but the, that put your protection oil there, put your open it up oil there. But you're the combination of protection and open it up. That's why when you, if you pray, you bow your head to open that up for God, for spirit. So when you're going, I'm always oiling up here. I'm a big believer in sigils and symbols. Do I have one there? No. Um, I don't go into real scary places without wearing a helm of awe, ah, a little pendant. I usually have a big drawing of one, which is a Norwegian. It's, I work with symbols and I work with, again, every religion and belief system, but I don't go anywhere without this. I love it. It's, you can draw it in one second. It's a rune. It's a Viking, Norwegian. But the energy goes in and bursts out. I literally, you know, I have a little pendant. You can buy them. Since all those kind of shows, you could buy them anywhere for cheap I, on my website. But I, you could... I have one under my welcome mat at my house and it keeps out burglars and bad ghosts. I wear a pendant when I'm going into real awesome. scary and dark places and I don't know where I'm going. So I have my protection techniques. Um, and do you want to give a shout out to your website online before you go any further? Do I want to say my website? Yeah. 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 Let yeah. everybody Patty know. PattyNegri.com. P-A-T-T-I-N-E-G-R-I.com. Yeah, that's me. Look at that, you guys. Yeah. Picture yeah. and everything. Yeah. Ah, the, ah. Oh, yeah, that's me when I have makeup and then dressed. <laughs> yeah, it's her website. So yeah. please, guys, go there. Check it out. Um, Patty has some amazing stuff on here. And, uh, you know, there's so much There's so much more. I mean, e even just an hour podcast with Patty is not enough because the knowledge yeah. that you can just, you know, give everybody and us as, as investigators and researchers are just beyond this. But, yeah, please go to Patty's website. Um, also check out her podcast. I mean, it's just, Patty, you are just fascinating. And I've been telling everybody, I don't even know you, but just the energy that comes off of you is absolutely amazing. And, um, I am just so grateful that I get to sit here with you right now and get to get to know you a little bit because it's truly a blessing. It truly is. And I Thank love you. what you said earlier about how, when you were younger and you were driving by the you know, mosque or the church and all this, and you were seeing these energies. And I always said to everybody, I'm like, you know, we are energy down to the cellular mm -hmm. level. Science knows it. So why not? Well, you know, what? like, you know, we have all these different sects of religion and stuff. But in reality, I believe, like you said, you know, it's all similar. It's all one. It's all that energy, you know. So I yeah, totally it, get it. I completely. I even read my atheist grandpa's books now who who just didn't like any kind of religion, God, spirituality. And it's like, oh, you believe the same thing. You just use science academic words. Yeah, it's a template, yeah. whatever you want to use, say God or Jesus or science or this it, to oversimplify it. It's 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 if you take it down to the through line of energy, there's whether you call it the laws of nature, the laws of the universe, the laws of science, the laws of gravity. Um, you, wish, you know, just you can, yeah, it it's should awesome. be easier for everybody. Yeah. But yeah. I just love I just. I love people. I love life. We humans are the most amazing creatures um, because we are, we, we are divine beings. We, oh my God, I don't, how we even know how this works in our brains and how we're born yep. and we're human. We have free will. So we're more powerful in so many ways than even the angels because they're dextral. They could, all they could do is what's holy. They can protect. Great. They can enlighten. Great. But they don't have a sensual side. They can't go, I'm going to wear green today and I'm going to wear blue tomorrow. They have to wear white every day, you know? Yeah, no, I, I I completely agree. Completely agree. Go ahead, guys. I don't want to be the only one asking questions because I got too much to ask. <laughs> I'm, I like, oh, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just in awe right now. Um, yeah, so me I, too. I know that um, you talked about your books and, and the shows. Um, is there anything that's upcoming that you can shout out that we can look out for? Um, yeah, I've been working uh, – um, Again, on the YouTube, um, these guys, TFIL, it's Elton Castig and Corey. They're like the top YouTubers. 
and and they've been doing it long enough that they're amazing. We go to all the, they travel the world as big as any show, as big as anybody does. We just shot something with them that should be coming out soon. I actually um, can't talk about it yet, but I actually just got to work with Jack Osborne and Katrina on Portals to Hell. I did not know where I was going again at all. I was like, when they wanted me to come, I'm like, I'm going to be in Dallas because I was speaking in Dallas. They go, oh, that's close to Memphis. Ooh, I'm going to Memphis. <laughs> Be. Well, no, that's the only way I knew where I was going. <laughs> okay, but that's all I knew. And again, I'm at the hotel and I'm in and I'm in the car. And I they walked me in. I didn't know where I was. So I just did that. I have I also just speaking of the Cecil, uh, besides if you like Cecil, TFI and IL did a four part series. I'm in two and four. The one thing about YouTubers or like you guys, your free form stuff is you you don't have any rules. Like the two <laughs> nights I spent at the Cecil with Zach. And the guys, I didn't get to go to the roof at all because the days I was there, they didn't have the fire marshal there. And I so I couldn't go to the roof. I can go anywhere I wanted but the roof and I wanted to go to the roof. But when I got there with the TFIL guys, I'm like, I want to go to the roof. <laughs> and they go, okay. I go, what about the fire marshal? They're like, fire marshal? We don't have a you fire marshal. Like, yeah. yeah. There's no <laughs> fire marshal. Over the board. <laughs> We did a seance on the roof of the sea. So we're running around. They brought a Dybbuk box from the conjuring house of which we opened up. And and they're like kind of like young Zachs. They have that same commitment, that same give it your all. I mean, you guys are that too. It's, I love that that's what this weird little private club that we're all in, this paranormal club. We are different. <laughs> um, but I they so but they, the Cecil Hill, they have a really good, their Cecil series is good. But I just shot a, a CW show called uh, Mysteries Decoded. And it's all about the Cecil too. I just shot that. I don't know when any of these are going to, I just did a basketball wise. I don't know when any of them are going to air because they just never tell you until it's like time. Well, you're a busy uh, person. <laughs> you're super yeah, busy. And now I'm getting to go on the road. You're I'm so excited. For our little show. I, it is my, I, I was so worried because I thought, I I, I, just, I was thinking along the lines of she's never going to come on our podcast. She's got all this stuff to do. <laughs> but, uh, uh, all you can do is ask, isn't it? You can't do any more exactly. than that. Yes or no answer, yeah. isn't it? And then adorable. it's like I said to them, I, I said, yes, yeah, she is. And they're like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we, we were told yeah. this all. I mean, we, we, were, we were so grateful for it. But um, I wanted to say to you that uh, you know, you are a very busy person and it must be so like empowering now to be able to do your true passion um, in all that you love, like, you know, also be a old life. You know what I mean? I, I find that so amazing, Patty. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and we, we all can to, I mean, to different extents, it's just, you just have to create it. You have to, to drive your own boat. You, you create your life. Cause believe me, I was not always this between 15 and 30. I became victim to these health things and all that. And I wasn't that happy. I'd gone, gone through two husbands already. And then I'm like, wait, I could embrace life differently. And then everything changed. Doors opened up. I've not been sick in decades. I mean, everything changed. And that's, and we have the power, nobody else. We do. So if you have the power, if you don't have the power, who or what have you given it away to? Have you given it away to another person? Have you given yep. it away to a limiting belief system? Have you given it away to fear? You know, yep. embrace fear. You every again, paranormal people embrace fear. It's not like that. Oh, I'm afraid to make the phone call. I'm afraid to ask for the raise. It's like, yes, let's go talk to ghosts. So, but take that that the embracing fear that we do to ride a roller coaster or to go into a scary investigation. Put that into the other parts of your life, like. The, the strive for career or love and all those things. Absolutely. It's a million dollar industry. So yeah, yeah just switch your thought pattern. You know, so, yeah. I wanted to also ask you too, um, you know, like I said earlier, like I'm so happy that paranormal is becoming, you know, such open now. Whereas like you said, you know, even back in the fifties, like back in the fifties, it was so close. It was a little niche group, um, even being like a psychic or medium or anything along those lines. And I'm so happy to see, you know, more people getting involved. I mean, even all the people on YouTube, like, you know, the, the amazing group you, you talked about, um, and just the other amazing groups on there. I mean, we were all, we have all our groups on there as well. And, um, you know, one of the things that I'm, I'm finding is that, because of it, it's, it's, it's starting to become so com uh, competitive. 
And uh, so we started this international group of researchers where we want to get all the people that want to work together, use that positive energy together and, you know, um, you know, and make, you know, make more advancements in the field. Because I think there's like an endless possibility when we all put our energies together and work towards that. And and, you know, it's just amazing. Endless. You know, and and. You're a hundred percent right. We're always so taught to this is mine and there's no here's mine. Separate, separate, separate. It's like you're blue or you're green. You like the Yankees or the Dodgers, you like this or that. No. Again, that's how I got on all those ridiculously odds. I did not deserve to be there shows. Is yes, there's room for everybody. There is room for all this. The competition could be positive thing, not a negative thing. So I love that philosophy that you guys are doing. It, and yeah. It's, yeah. It, energetically, it's magically, so it's hundred percent right. Yeah. I just it's, say it's, as well uh, here uh, that obviously we've, we've got a message here from uh, Nigel, our sponsor from FCD Ghost Boxes, uh, on the screen there now. Uh, but can I just ask as well because Nigel's actually in the UK here where I am. Uh, he's not actually not far up the road. Do you have any plans at all, Patty, to come to the UK at any point? In about two weeks, I'm going to be at the Festival of the Unexplained at Bosworth Hall. Three weeks, two weeks. Oh, awesome. My first time in the UK. I'm really excited. Um, <laughs> How long are you I've here for? Been... I'm not here. I'm not very, very long. I'm like six days, I think. I fly in. We do the show. I, I fly out. But I'll be back in May in Ireland. Um I'm doing a Game of Thrones castles tour, which we were supposed to do a year ago, but because of COVID. So yeah, now yeah. I'll be in Ireland in all of these amazing haunted castles where I get to lift the veil oh. in May. I, I was also supposed to do Romania in May, but that's a little close to war zone. So they're pushing that back yeah. to November and hopefully that yeah. we're doing a whole Dracula yeah, but, castle thing. I think the first time I emailed you about the podcast, you told me about the Game of Thrones thing. Because obviously yeah. I'm originally from Belfast anyway, so and a, a lot of it, a lot of it was all sorry. Yeah, no, that John, go ahead. Say yeah. what you were asked too, because I know you're. Oh man, asking. I, I, I was just saying, I, I just get so frustrated with with people that try to take advantage of people that are are wanting to learn more about the spiritual. Like they they, yeah. they charge these people ridiculous prices for classes. You know, like like two hundred bucks for five classes. I'm I, I like I understand you want to make money, but I don't think that's the right intention, and I don't think you know what you're teaching them is going to help them when they go into the location. You know, that's that's why I started a school this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw it's, that. It's, on called, it's called University Magicus M University Regular so M A G I C K U S with my vampire friend Father Sebastian and a, a guy in he's Italian. He's in the UK now, Jersey. Nick uh, used to be Haunted Diary, and it's it's affordable. It's 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 like for ten dollars a month you get a class a month. So that yeah. classes average yeah, ten dollars i teach he teaches we have catholic priests we have voodoo priestesses we don't preach any one thing it's a mystery school we teach we have stefan brigatti teaches paranormal stuff we have astrologers teach astrology just this is we don't say this is it this is so anybody wants to learn stuff it's all on zoom so you have people just like you we do right now all over the world universitymagicus.com Oh, I love it. And we call it, and, and we wanted a real simple name and we say real life Hogwarts because it's approachable to everybody. It's not, you have to get all worded out. It's uh, Brian, John, who's a uh, content producer over at Paraflix. And I know you're part of player Paraflix as well. Yeah. So I want to shout out, um, but he just posted uh, from Parapost network, as you just said, and said, welcome uh, to all of us uh, over at Parapost. Cause we, uh, this is our first show. Um, on Parapost Network, uh, we were uh, approached by them, and we were super happy about it. Um, but please talk about your 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 stuff with uh, Paraflix because yeah. um, I absolutely amazing. I mean, I see my friends Beyond the Veil Investigations um, always shouting out to you, and and I just I, I want we want to hear more. Definitely, please. Yeah, it's a streaming service. We wanted, and we call ourselves, and we wanted to be the Netflix of the paranormal uh, because we wanted stuff like what you guys are, a place to have it. I mean, I love Ghost Adventure. I love all of those shows. I love working. But it's like we there's so many people like you guys and that needed a place to do it. So I started it. Nick, the guy who's one of my two partners 
in the school and Natalie Jones in Texas, we started Paraflix this past year and we're, it's doing really well. We got great subscribers. Um, you can go do a free trial and we got I amazing love- stuff. You guys should bring it I, yeah, over. We pay, we pay we better than Netflix. Out. You know, it's, yeah. it's good. We, it's, yeah, it's a no- streaming service and um, we I have mostly paranormal. We, have, we brought over some really great horror films and some spirituality and some educational but it's it's a home base for people like you and for people like us who want to who who've already seen everything on TV. <laughs> no, no, I, I, no it, it brings a lot of attention to people that you know like aren't well known, um, as well known as like Ghost Adventures and, and all yeah. these shows. Now. But it gives a place for people to see uh, you know other real investigators, real researchers who have the same passion. And and I thought yeah. when I saw Paraflix, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best opportunity that could have ever came our way from people who are youtubers to people who are just you know in the field and not on youtube i mean just getting to know right. Paraf- and getting to meet all the people that are going to be coming on our show from Paraf- i mean we're just truly blessed and i'm so happy that you guys created this it is Thanks. just such, such an amazing community so keep up the all yeah all the stuff. and we have the same there's room for everybody um, you don't have to be exclusive you could be with this guy and this guy and us we have people yep. who are exclusive and want and they get whatever their little perks and all that but it's again there's there's room for everybody and there's a, a need and a desire because the world's scary the world you know the, yep. between pandemics now we've got wars and traditionally, I think why the paranormal is only going to get bigger and bigger is two reasons. One, because the veil is thinning and thinning. As we move into the age of Aquarius, they sang about in the 60s, more and more unexplainable paranormal. The veil is just thinning. So that's happening and people are going, what's going on? And number two is when people get so scared, they want to know there, there's more to life than this. You know, what than war in the Ukraine, than pandemics. There's more than this traditionally and you can go all through history people would get to go to, to religion immediately they'd they'd find their faith they'd find their religion but for a lot of people some religion is not keeping up with modern needs or people's needs so as a lot of them are going to you know more alternative spirituality whether it's real new age and crystals or old age and pagan but even people who don't necessarily want that still want to know they're more so paranormal investigators you know you don't have to deal with gods or spirits or anything like that but you yeah. still get to know there's something more out there exactly yes i and love it I, is there um you go ahead guys you have any questions I, i'll let you guys take one. well i was i was just gonna uh ask uh, so when you get a skeptical person that you know that says oh you're a phony for like how do you handle it like i just i i say well you weren't there you have to be there to experience it you know um i i just love them I, I i i like starting out skeptic i will always go in can we debunk this first and skeptics if they do turn they fall the hardest but it, yeah. it, if they don't want to believe that's okay i don't have an issue with that you know like the guy who caught on fire he got on fire now he's a believer i i don't recommend that <laughs> for most people but i'm okay I, I i don't believe in even that's why our school is not designed that way and you don't have to go be a witch. You don't have to go be a witch. It's just, there's a lot of different paths. To drive from my house to any of your house, there's a lot of ways to do it. You could do it. You could fly. You could walk. You could drive. You could swim. Who's to say one's better than the other? So if somebody, if they're more comfortable being a skeptic, great. That is great. I don't ha- ever, ever have to try to prove anything. But again, those are the ones that go, ah, or when they see something going, yeah, how did that <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, along the same, I'm along the same lines as that, really, because I think the same thing. If someone says to me on an investigation, they watch the video afterwards and they say, well, I don't believe that actually happened. I'm like, well, you've got your beliefs. I'm not going to stand here and beg you to change them. But I, I know I was there. I know what happened. You know what I mean? So it's, that's the way I look at it. Yeah. And it, it, I, I, I remember I first time... You know, I, I, you're, if you get it's the more bigger you get in the world, you're going to get pressed and you're going to get judged and you're going to get everybody does. You guys will. Everybody does. But I remember the first time I saw and this hurt to the core because I'm fake psychics dot com. And it was Patty Negri. And, I'm like, oh, what? and I wow. looked and and they, they went right to one of the ghost adventures episodes and they were saying how um, how I 
looked right at the camera at the right times and all this ridiculous stuff. It's like how I must have known it, which I didn't. I never do. But and you, I so bad wanted to go, do you understand editing? Yeah. <laughs> I, sometimes my butt was just in the camera. They just cut that out. Yeah. You know? ah. yeah. Uh, but I didn't because that, that you just don't start a fight. I didn't want to go there. It's like, yeah. no, no, Jack won't let you know what's going on. No one will. He doesn't want anything to look like that unless we're going, this is a reenactment. I'm not part of that. Um, so, but that's what you're going to get. And if that made somebody feel better to say, because I looked at the camera at the right time and they yeah. don't understand editing, that's okay. <laughs> I think, right. Yeah. You have a certain time frame you got to fit in. <laughs> yeah. We, okay. We were there for the show takes four days to film. You get it in 44 minutes. They yeah. Cut the bad part. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, there is, there is. all legit. But we didn't in, in see this thing, that there is. Goes in 44 minutes. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Oh, yeah. And people just don't in, in space, there is a lot of competition and there is a lot of of hate that goes on. I mean, we we've all experienced it individually and together. Uh, there is there is a lot of uh, you know it is competition and people trying to you know debunk what we've done, but say they've done it. And, and you know it's it's sad as like you say, Patty. It, it should every if everybody worked together. And AJ said it enough times. If everybody put their resources together and worked together. You know, we would be catching big stuff all the time, but people just don't want to believe that someone else has done something that they haven't and vice versa. Yeah, I, but you guys put on a good investigation, a good show. People are going to like it. Then there'll be two shows, and those two shows are good, and then there'll be four shows. And those four shows, it's it's opposite of what people think. Yeah. No, you're Look at network TV. Look at how many crime shows there are. They are out of crime. Mis no. Yeah. Well, yeah. even reality TV is just yeah, exactly right <laughs> exactly you know and i can't even imagine also you know what people don't understand like i i went to school film and audio and, and for broadcasting as well um you know I, I i know the whole side and all that type of stuff people don't um you know when you're there being with multiple camp four days straight how much footage you have to go through to make it into that 40 you know what 45 minute segment and you know i mean great stuff but you know people don't realize like what work really and i know that i know the ghost adventures from a friend who have worked with travel channel have worked with them and i know the amount of effort that they put into each episode you know and you know and and i know that you know network tv has a found it where anything that's on tv is fake and all this stuff but you know what though i mean I think anybody who really is in this field uh, with a passion, passion is in it for real. But you want to know what? There are people that are fake now do it YouTube? Oh yeah, there are, oh, there is. It's like, and I'm, I've seen things that, going. Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you don't need to do that if you're respectful. I believe. I believe the spirits are going to give you the opportunity to to you know show themselves to you if you have that great energy. You know and. Uh, I just love everything you're doing. I can't wait to, for what's to come. And oh man, it got ghost dog. <laughs> I, <laughs> ghost dog. Yeah. It's in my sleep and everything. Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so can I just ask Thank Patty you know. as well? Do you do you do like do you do healing and stuff as well? Or yeah, I I I I have a pro my private practice is one on one coaching. It used to be very much live at my dining room table in Hollywood. But then it became very international anyway, just because, you know, when you're in an, an international market and then with and so that would be like on Zoom or something. And then with the pandemic, everything became on Zoom or something. So, yeah, well, coaching with me could take you anywhere. It's, well, what are you looking for? I just see the energy. If you need if you're looking for psychic stuff, love, health, career, family, if you're looking for mediumship, you want to talk to whoever you're talking to. If you're looking for shifting up what isn't working for you, what the blocks are. Um, I that's what I do most days. Um, I'm also really besides my seances, which I travel the world doing. Um, is clearings because of this energy, the way I see it, I see the cords between people. I see the energy of spaces. Um, I do a lot of clearings, whether it's the little apartment next door or the biggest mansion, which I've done there in Spelling Mansion in yeah. Los Angeles to the Phil Spector, you know, that music crazy guy who killed the girl to his castle mm -hmm. to again, to office building agents, buildings need clearing a lot. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lawyer buildings need clearing a lot. Oh, yeah. I've done manufacturing things, clothes manufacturing, makeup manufacturing. So I, I clear the energy. And again, I work elementally, so no one has to go, this is weird. And sometimes it's ghosts and spirits and portals. And sometimes it's just negative energy and stuck right. energy and illness and crankiness. And so everybody keep your house clean. And, and you don't have to hire me. I have a book that you can download for six bucks that you show how to do it yourself. So. Yeah, and I, and I everyone, the title of it? I mm -hmm. because, honestly, she what's, has. Uh, what's the title of that book? My dog ate it. Oh, old world <laughs> magic for the modern world. Okay. Old world. <laughs> I'm a good I, marketer. Can you tell? Wait, I, old I, world. I, you, <laughs> what's the name of the book? My dog ate it. I was ready. I was ready to go and search up for my dog ate it. It's, that's my next book, I think. I actually got a couple ready to go. Old World Magic for the Modern World, <laughs> Tips, Tricks, and Techniques to Balance, Empower, and Create a Life You Love. The whole thing is, is super. I spent more time unwriting it than writing it. That's why it's like a bestseller in five countries because it's like love magic. Here, kitchen magic. Here, why you put salt in your bathroom to get rid of the Here, how to do this. Here, simple, yeah. simple. Anybody can do. It doesn't have to be paranormal or anything. It's little life hacks, like most 30 second exercises to stop the chatter in your head. 30 second exercise to get rid of anxiety. 30 second exercises. You know, yeah. So that's what it is. So you get on Amazon. It's an ebook, audio book or print on my website. It's in print. So easy to find. Awesome. My dog ate it. Look that. Let's just look up my dog. I love, I love I, it. I absolutely love it. And this goes for all the kids at home. No trying to use that for excuses for homework, everyone. No. Even, <laughs> See, I've, I've been know? using that for decades. I know. Huh? I, see. <laughs> I love it. Just, I even, love just it. even wrote a book on it. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, it's, that that's absolutely amazing. Um, do you have a little longer to talk, Patty, or do would you? I mean, um, a little I longer. My dog's quiet. A few more minutes, sure. Oh, it's a, it's a, okay. Um, I, uh, I, I wanted to ask you what, um, what are some things that, you know, if people like are looking to become a medium or get into medium or, or to know more about their abilities, what, what is something that you can quickly suggest to someone? Um, obviously I suggest everyone go to Patty's website, um, check out her books, um, because she does have lots of information that can help everyone in all areas. But is there a quick tip that you could maybe give some of our viewers that maybe could lead them in the right direction? Yeah, it's consciousness. Number one, yes, you can go to my school for ten dollars a class. You could watch my 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 witching hour, my podcast. I it's educational. Every week I have leaders from all over the world in how spirituality, psychicness, hypnotism, in whatever. Um, my YouTube page, I teach stuff all free, free, free. But consciousness, you guys, awake. I think this whole pandemic, we 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 did kind of become zombies. Like yeah. we use the terminology phoned in, asleep at the wheel, automatic pilot, Yeah. wake up, this is it. Whatever comes next, there's lots of options to that. But you don't want to be asleep at the wheel. You don't want to numb out. People, it's like, because it, the world's scary and, and we overthink and that. I work very much, all my stuff is very cycle. Left brain, that's one plus one equals two. That's our logical brain. We need that to get through life. Our right brain, that's our creative, intuitive, spiritual. That's the one we go paranormal. Well, paranormal, you have to dance between the two, your left brain for the equipment and this. And, and But that's where you could talk to dead grandma. That's where you can do it. And it's learning to do that dance, learning to not, we shut, we're all, always our own worst enemy, overthinking, overspinning. So just an awareness, remembering to breathe. Nobody breathes anymore because we're always in a hurry and we all, the world's so fast paced. All this crash shallow breathing is our air element. Um, and and that we, because we're quick breathing, then we get all chatty head or foggy head, and then we don't think, and then we just numb out. I'm going to just watch TV or drink alcohol or eat food or do whatever and all those other things we do. And said, so just go wake up. My best thing is, even why I did the book, put uh, the elemental thing that I work, put your whole body into the four elements air, fire, water, earth. Your earth is who you are, your persona. Oh, that's Jason. He's that you're you're funny. You're the womb and women. It's just who you are, how people know you. That's your earth, your home. Your fire is your passion. What drives you? Love, sex, God, creativity, that that passion. So who you are and what drives you is north and south in an elemental compass. So and but where we get off balance is west and east. Like an airplane going like this. West is our water element, it's our emotions. Our water 
is 60% of our body, almost 70%. The water just has to flow. Our emotions can't be judged, stuffed down, ignored. Water is mush. And our air element, that's our thinking brain, our focus, our clarity, the chatter or the fog. So if you put your whole body into air, fire, water, it just means who you are, what drives you, your emotions and your thoughts. And where what messes up us up every time is our emotions and our thoughts. What do we need more than anything to survive? Water and air water and air. So if you're finding yourself and you're not as happy as you could be, you guys are all happy guys, but you're not as happy because it's a scary world or you're not as productive as you could be. Like I'd really like to do this, but I'm not, or equally important, not as conscious as you want to be just instead of going, well, I'm just, I'm so used to it and I'm, I'm not happy. But I'm going to just go, no, no, no. Which element right now is the most out of balance and you'll figure it out. Is it your emotion? Somebody just flip you off on the highway or you got to fight with whoever you live with justified or not doesn't matter I, you know it held inside seething or screamed out the window if it's your emotions that's your water element if you go back to that mind body spirit thing water you need water running water will chop it think how good you feel after a shower right yeah. Water running is just like an aspirin for a headache. So, but you can't jump in the shower, but you could always find running water, a sink, a bathroom, a kitchen, a drinking fountain, a hose, pouring a bottle of water on your hand. If you do that, mind, but walk up to the sink, turn it on, state your intention. My mind, with this water, I'm going to release this angst, anger, fear, whatever. Run your hands, body, underwater for 30 seconds. The second the water catches you, ah. You will healthfully release that angst, anger, fear, confusion, whatever that is, in a healthy way. And now you could deal with whatever caused it if you have to. Otherwise, you've released it. You're not holding it here. But if it's your air element, again, that we just can't think straight with the world's too fast, that's your air element. You need to breathe. 30 seconds of deep breathing. To make it so you could don't have to do 10-minute exercise, add sound. Um, every I do a lot of Egyptian magic, which is heck of work. Uh, every sound we make has an effect on us. Every every vowel, every consonant is form and function. You could learn all that, but yeah. just know that vowels clear the head. Any vowel, any order. Think about it. Every sacred word is a vowel. Amen. Oh. Mm -hmm. Native mm -hmm. American, hey, uh, hey uh, East Indian, yeah, 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 falling in love, ah, really, ah, opens up this crown of illumination. So if you're going, I can't think, I've got to focus, I've got to do my podcast, and I, I can't chatter. 30 seconds, whether you're talking to your brain, or you're talking to the element of air, or you're talking to God, with this 30 seconds of deep breathing, 30 seconds of vowels, I want to bring in the air element, clarity, focus. Whether you're sitting there in your car going, ah, or om, or e-i-e-i-o, within 30 seconds, the chatter will stop, the fog will lift, the clarity will come in. Same thing with earth, you're not feeling grounded. Hug a tree, there's something to that. But if you can't hug a tree, you're on the 35th floor of your office, but grab a pencil. This pencil still has the spirit of that tree, a crock, a crystal, a stone, a wooden thing, a granite countertop. Breathe no. into it. That will ground you. And the fire, if you, it's like maybe you have a hot date and you're not feeling it. Or again, spirituality is fire too. And Christianity is the Holy Spirit. You want to talk to these ghosts, you know, or maybe you're just tired. You have all the earth in the world, but you got to get up. You got an early day. Um, and you, and you can't dance around a bonfire, which is always my first choice. <laughs> if you can't dance around a fire, the hecka for fire and passion is Z. Z. You know, ask an eight-year-old kid, what does a bee sound like? Zzz. So again, okay, I need energy. I need passion. I need fire. I need whatever. I need to open up to spirit. With this 30 seconds of deep breathing, 30 seconds of Z, I need to pull in the fire element. Zzz. Within at 30 seconds is a long time. That was one second. Whether you're asking Pele or the dry, breath of a dragon or the Holy Spirit or the beating of your heart, whatever. The, Within 30 seconds, you'll start feeling a tingling in the base of your spine. It'll come up your spinal cord and you'll have that fire or passion or energy or creativity to do what you need. Just those four things. They're free. You can do them anywhere. Uh, can be a game changer. Game changer. That's why I have to wow. get to do everything fast. And I could do 900 things in a day. You know, I run like 12 that's companies amazing. and I yeah, still have time to do that's this. Fascinating. That's it. It really is. I mean, just, that is amazing. I mean, you know, I, and thank you so much for that. And I, and I, you will be seeing me in your class for sure. Um, for sure. I, I am, I'm just excited to learn from you and learn more from you. I mean, you are an amazing person in my opinion. And I, Absolutely. I, just, I everything that you have done and are going to do. Um, I wish that we could talk about some of the things you're, you're, you're going to do, but I know it's hush hush and we will be surprised. Ah. I can't wait for yeah. it. Um, but can I just, I just ask as well, 
Can I just ask, uh, we're not wanting to push the boat too much, but would you be willing sometime in the future to come back on the podcast, Patty? Sure, I would. You guys are great. Oh, I, I love you all. I certainly would. Thank and you. And are you anywhere near Bosworth Hall in whatever Bosworth. that is? Bosworth. Uh, let me just find out, actually, because I want to. I want to find that out because I'm interested in that. Now it sounds familiar. Two seconds. It's, call it's called the Festival of the Unexplained. I'm coming out. I don't know. A lot of people are coming out for it. Yeah, Carla says yeah. thank you so much for all of this live. It was it was very enlightening. Carla, thank you for watching. Um, seriously, Patty, thank you so much. Um, I mean, in everything that you're doing with Paraflex, I got to personally thank you as a researcher myself and, you know, having something on YouTube. It's just like, it's so refreshing to see what you're doing with that, with everybody part of a part of Paraflex. And I can't wait to watch that grow and watch more, more content. Like I I said, bring us content, bring us content, no, you paranormal people. I'm just going to ask for you, I'm just going to ask for you, Patty, do you know where Bosworth Hall is? Have you heard of it? Oh, I've heard of it. Because she's coming over to the UK and she's doing a, a, a thing at Bosworth Hall. I've heard in a week or two. Yeah, in like a week. So, but hey. Festival of the Unexplained. That's all I know. <laughs> I, one day at a time. <laughs> but, honey, that's near Birmingham then. Yeah, Nigel's just said it as well as non eaten. Yeah. Okay. okay well, hey, this, I think a haunted time, place so. and a spa. It sounds fabulous to me. Yeah, no, I've heard a lot of. I've heard I a lot of. I think I'm doing a mediumship gallery and ghost adventure and ghost, in, you know, investigations. And I don't know. It's a paracon. Awesome. Well, hey, just, Patty. Just, Patty. Sorry, just just oh, while you're on as well, Patty. I just want to introduce you to our secretary. <laughs> yeah, this, she just be Hi. She just cancer, be cancer for the <laughs> second time. She's a trooper. <laughs> a trooper. Nice to meet you, Trooper you. Secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we Thank love our secretary. <laughs> she's just kicked. She just kicked cancer's ass for the second time. Yes, <laughs> yes, she can do it. I'm full, yeah. full believer of we have come full control over that. Yeah, I'm speaking from personal experience. So, knock it out. Definitely not coming yeah. back again. No. <laughs> no. <All right. laughs> so, Thank but, you guys. Um, you guys I, are adorable. Yeah, I want to. Me I and my to... orbs and my dolls are gonna. <laughs> oh no, the orb was ama absolutely amazing. But Patty, we just uh... want to thank you so much. Like I said again, and I know you got to run, uh, but please keep up the amazing work you're doing because you are just fabulous and your energy is amazing. And everything that anyone can learn from you, please go to her website. Please watch her podcast. Go to her YouTube. Check out Paraflix. Um, Patty's amazing, and uh, Patty, we hope to have you on again soon, please. And uh, keep up all the stuff that you're doing. And just keep following your heart. Love you. I love you. Thank you. Absolutely. I will, and you guys the same. What you guys are doing here and your whole group. So you guys the same. So thank you. Magic is everywhere, you guys. You just got to look sometime. I'll <laughs> stand touch with you by email anyway. Okay, please do. I, yeah. I'm easy to find. Written oh, everywhere. Thanks, Patty. Internet, bathroom malls across America. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Patty. I don't know how to leave. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hey, John, you want to bring? Back to the regular, uh, regular way our yeah, yeah. Norm Okay, so guys, oh, that was such an awesome, such an awesome uh, uh, podcast, man. I, I've been waiting for Patty to come on since we we they f first found out from you know Robin and and what you guys think, man. I mean, she has so it's much. Awesome. Yeah. I tell you what, I tell you what I think, right? I tell you what I think is just just put thank you, your great hosts. <laughs> I tell you what I think. It's like. I, you, did, you never believe she's actually going to come on. No. You know, you from, know, I, you from the day on our I first messaged her, it was like, and then she said, yes, I'll come on. And I'm like, yeah, but you won't. <laughs> you know? No, 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 but like she said, all you could do is ask, you know? And, and you know what? Like I said from the beginning, Patty's the most down-to-earth person, which I love about her. And uh, I'm just super happy that, you know, we were got to come on. The one hard thing, though, is that when she comes on, you have all these things that you want to ask, all these questions that you had all prepared. And then she gets on and you're like, oh, well, I totally didn't know what I was going to ask there. <laughs> no, no, I know what it was for me. Every time I went to ask something, it was like, damn, one of you two have asked that. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, man. But, you know, I think we're like little kids and we're just too excited. So oh, it's a problem. Did, did I there's my wife. 
Did you get a start of KJ? What's that? Did you get a little bit starstruck, bless you? Oh, I got I get starstruck all the time. You guys, <laughs> please, please, I'm starstruck. Are you kidding me? I, oh man. But uh <laughs> I just want to say to everyone who was uh, watching this, I, we appreciate you guys. We appreciate appreciate uh, Brian J. We appreciate everyone over at Parapost uh, for letting us stream live here. We hope you guys had a great time. Carla, thank you for commenting. We're glad you had a great time. Nigel, um, like we said, Nigel Mortimer is our sponsor. Uh, he said she's a wonderful person. It shows us all our, our full potential and how energy can change our lives, which is absolutely absolutely true so again go head over to parapost network check them out head over to paraflix check them out and as well come to talking with the source check out all our older uh, episodes but now like i said we will be streaming live on parapost so you will see us with every other wonderful podcast so check all them out as well and also shout out to who robin to our sponsor go ahead yep shout out to nigel mortimer from fcd ghost boxes uh, here in the UK, his his boxes are absolutely amazing, and and they're a lot cheaper than other ones. They're and they're really and he makes every single one of them by hand as well. So, and just while I'm doing the shout outs, just want to tell the viewers as well that Patty's just messaged me on Messenger and she said thanks for having her on, and obviously she said she'll come on again. So that's that's a bonus, really. Absolutely bonus, man. We love to have great yeah. people like. And you know what? She paves the way for a lot of us, and I, I just look forward to it. So if you have a dream, like she said, follow it. We've been following ours, and we look forward to what the journey lies ahead. And uh, I just want to thank you guys, man, for being my best friends, being here with me. And uh, we just want to say thank you, and uh, thank everyone for watching. So and I, take I care. Just wanna, I, I just want to say, you know, shout out to the troops in the Ukraine and in russia may spirits be with you you know it's a Absolutely. horrible thing to go to war uh i was in it um so i know what they're going through and um you know my hopes and prayers are with those guys so absolutely I wish it wasn't happening yeah so it wasn't happening you no know, i really don't but all right guys I'll... talking with the source yeah this been day. talking with Loved you. I hope you like this episode, and we'll talk to you guys soon. See you next Friday. Not Bye. a problem.